First up in this week's news roundup is the Samsung Galaxy S5, which packs in plenty of next-gen smarts, including a fingerprint scanner. And it looks like we won't have to wait too much longer, as Samsung has announced pre-orders for its brand new phone. You can pre-order it from Samsung's own e-store or the Samsung Experience Store in London from the 28th of March. The Galaxy S5 is due to launch around the world on the 11th of April, so if you want to guarantee getting your hands on one on day one, it looks best to pre-order. And with it packing a glorious 5.1 Full HD Super AM OLED display with a fingerprint scanner up front and under the hood there's a blazing fast 2.5GHz quad-core processor coupled with 2GB of RAM and on the back you'll find a high-res 16MP shooter that's capable of shooting up to an amazing 4K all enclosed in a dust and water resistant chassis which all combined could make the ultimate smartphone. Next up, despite its bare bones graphics and a single button for control, Flappy Bird turned out to be one of the most addictive, if stupendously difficult games we've ever played. And most of us were sad to see it disappear from the App Store and Google Play Store, but it may be about to make a return. It looks increasingly likely that the developer may be on the verge of performing a U-turn. However, with Flappy Birds flying back onto the small screen with a tweak to stop people getting so addicted, the developer said next time around Flappy Bird would launch with a warning, please take a break. And it also looks like the developer is working on three other games. A flying game called Kitty Jetpack, an action chess game called Checkernaut, and a yet to be named title involving cowboys. If any of them are even a fraction as addictive as Flappy Birds, there will sure to be smash hits. Next up, sticking with the mobile theme, it looks like Rovio's little birds are on their next epic romp. Meet Angry Birds Epic, the latest game in the massive mobile franchise, but you won't be flinging the birds against bad piggy structures. Epic will feature a deep crafting system to make your own armour, potions and weapons, all using resources found in the game, or purchased with real money. The game itself is also set to feature a campaign mode that's a strong focus on its story, while there's also set to be a challenging end game for you to tackle once you've swept through the main campaign. Angry Birds Epic is set to launch in the Apple App Store in Canada, Australia and New Zealand this week, while a full worldwide release hasn't been confirmed just yet, and you can expect it to pop up on Android, iOS and Windows Phone when it's finally released. And last up, much as we're addicted to modern games like Dark Souls 2 and Titanfall, there's something about revisiting long-forgotten titles on touchscreens too. Games where things are kept as simple as possible, and it's all about the story. Games like PC adventure classic Little Big Adventure, which is coming to iOS and Android at the end of the month. Little Big Adventure originally debuted back in 1994, and we can imagine it being just as much fun this time around on the small screen. The graphics are simple but charming, with controls ported for touchscreens. This time around, Little Big Adventure gets on-screen buttons to control the hero, and there's a simple tutorial to help you tap and swipe your way to success. All in, it looks great fun, and it's a game we can't wait to get our hands on. Little Big Adventure is set to launch on Android and iOS on the 27th of March, with a price yet to be determined.